Hi, and welcome back to MRTV. In this video, we're going to have a look at the latest Pimax Kickstarter update that the company has sent out today. Unfortunately, not good news for Pimax backers and for those who have ordered the new products. They are delayed and they are delayed for quite some time. In this video, we're going to have a look at this update and we're going to find out together which products are delayed and until when. And all of this delayedness is coming up. Welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. It's all about news, just like the Pimax ones. And it's all about unbiased and honest reviews. So if this is interesting to you, then why don't you subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Pimax, the never ending story of delayed product launches and waiting and waiting and waiting to receive their products. Unfortunately, it's happening again with the latest products, the Pimax 8K Plus and the Pimax 8K X. We received another update today and these products are going to be delayed again and they're going to be delayed for quite some time. Unfortunately, Pimax is doing the same thing over and over again. They promise a certain thing and then, well, they don't keep their promises and then people are disappointed. It's always the same again. So I'm wondering, dear Pimax, why don't you just do not promise things and just say something if you are 100% sure that you can deliver on these dates? Because now people will be, well, disappointed again and they will stop to believe whatever you say. Anyways, let's have a look at the latest Pimax updates and find out until when the products will be delayed. And here we go, project update number 52. Hi futurists, as part of our commitment to continuous improvement, full stop, <laughs> we have prepared the following update. We are planning as stated to have more frequency in updating the updates. Updating the updates, don't update the updates, just tell us what's going on. Yeah, so, all right, 8K plus delayed. Estimate start shipping no later than end of December 2019. Well, in the very first Pimax day, they had said it's gonna happen on 30th of October when the first ones are going to be sent out now. It's already no later than end of December 2019. Let's see, the 8K Plus experience a slight delay with last minute changes to help ensure a quality launch. All right, quality launch sounds good. Then, most of us are more excited about the 8KX, the flagship device. Pimax's flagship device, which offers 4K um, displays and a 4K signal sent to those displays. So, estimated start shipping late March 2020, early April 2020, ouch. So this was supposed to be sent out like in December. Now they say late March, early April 2020 and that they even say April 2020, ah, that doesn't bode well. I suppose probably it's gonna be an October 2020 launch, probably Christmas 2020. <laughs> but this is these are just my guesses. So the 8KX is still in development. Nah, that sounds bad that it's in development. The engineering team will finish assembly some samples before testing this week. We will update the production plan according to test results next week. All right. The Pimax Comfort Kit. So the Pimax Comfort Kit, that is this new facial padding, which will also like cover your forehead, which makes it really comfortable. I really enjoyed this Comfort Kit. Estimate start shipping no later than end of December. 2019. All right, let's see. Details, chips with the 8K Plus release. Number four, index controllers and lighthouses delayed. Estimate early Genera January 2020 starting shipping. All right. So, well, we heard that, yeah, it should have been shipped for quite some time now, but now it's going to be in 2020 because of several things. They have to do different kind of packagings and they have to test the controllers and lighthouses and so on and so forth, yeah. Yeah, but anyways, I must say, well, you knew that all before, before you told us for the first time when you're going to ship those, right? So, yeah. Anyways, here's a good, some good news. Confirmed, Half-Life Alex will be received with the index upgrade. So if you get the index controllers, you will also get Half-Life Alex as part of this. Now, this, and this is, 
this is more serious. The modular audio strap, the standard one, is delayed. And this is the one that lots of people are waiting for. This is the strap which will make the Pimax headsets feel more comfortable, right? And also includes audio. And this is the standard model, the one which has um, speakers that are positioned over your ear. And unfortunately, nobody could check the sound quality because it didn't work in Amsterdam when I was there. So this is going to happen now late January 2020. And this is really, yeah, it's uh, disappointing because this is something important that people have been waiting for. And honestly, I don't understand why they didn't give priority to this modular audio strap. This is something that should have been in place very early. So in my opinion, instead of trying to bring out new headsets like the new 8K Plus and the 8KX, which are really amazing. The people who bought the 5K Plus and the 8K, they really needed this modular audio strap. So in my opinion, they should have focused on making this happen as soon as possible, instead of trying to bring out new and new and new headsets, which then also will be delayed. So in my opinion, this is really a mistake in strategy. So they'll ship the first 20, 20 pieces for Becker's trial and then do mass production in late January. Wow, that sounds, it sounds it's gonna be later than, than this. Then for the MAS Deluxe delayed, estimate start shipping in March, 2020. Ouch, estimate. So I don't, I don't really think that's gonna happen in March, 2020. So the Deluxe one is the one with the headphones over here, the one that most people are interested in. The deluxe MAS design is still being in development to ensure quality and comfort. All right. Number seven, the silicone protective sleeve. Estimate shipping early January 2020. Yeah, so I don't think many people will care about this. Number eight, next Pi tool. Estimate release 13th of December 2019. And um, yeah, this version, you can check the preview notes, what it has. Not so interesting. And the other modules and games. WIP, I don't know what that means, probably because I'm not a native English speaker. Okay, and then we thank you for your continued patience and support and apologize for these delays. We'll continue to work hard and keep updated. And then the whole thing again from the beginning. <laughs> I mean, really, dear Pimax, if you send out these updates, at least one time look over what you send, right? So that you don't have to send everything again. In my opinion, this is really frustrating and disappointing. And I don't quite understand why Pimax is doing the same mistake over and over and over again. They're promising something, like giving out these dates, and then they don't keep the promise. We had this pattern, the same pattern, for so many times. And the thing is that the loyal fans, they will stop to believe in anything that Pimax says. They will simply say, no, I don't believe you. I'm not going to order from you. I will wait until the products are at Amazon, for example, where I can, yeah, be, be sure that the device will arrive when I order it and then I can simply give it back. So this is truly a problem. And really, I don't get it why Pimax is not changing this kind of strange strategy to promise something that simply doesn't materialize. So why does Pimax always have these kind of problems? Why are their products always delayed? Well, I can't say for sure since I'm not an insider, but I can guess. And in my opinion, the problem is that they simply lack the resources to produce this kind of product at this kind of scale. Actually, they do have a winner on their hands, the 8KX is actually really amazing, the one that I tried in Amsterdam. And I believe if they could actually produce this very soon and in big quantities, they would have a winner on their hands, a winner that could make a big impact on the whole VR industry. But again, my guess is that simply they are restricted with their resources, that they don't have enough manpower to make this happen and they, that they also don't have enough manpower to deal with the product service with the customer support. So this indeed is a big, big problem. 
In my opinion, what they should do, they should be acquired by a big company, a company that could actually deliver this product, that could produce this product, and that could also deliver the kind of customer service that you would need for such an expensive product. So it would be the best for all of us. It would be the best for the customers who would be able to get this product, and it would also be better for Pimax because they could actually grow. They could actually really grow and they wouldn't have to fight with all the problems that they are facing right now. And actually the demand is there. People want this headset, but they cannot get it. So probably would be a great idea to get acquired. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think about Pimax? Do you agree with me that probably an acquisition would be the best way to go? And are you still excited about the 8KX or would you say like, no, you know what? I simply go for the index now because I don't want to wait so long and it just, yeah, it's just taking too long. Please do let me know in the comment section below. That's it for this video. I hope you thought it's interesting. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, why don't you do so now? And why don't you click on the bell button so you don't miss anything? And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.